the year of the ox. If you were born in 1913, 1925, 1937, 1949, 1961, 1973, 1985, 1997, 2009, or even this year, 2021, then you may be an ox. Oxes are known for their strong work ethic, are dependable, patient, strong, and determined. This is the year of the ox. In the beginning, the world was full of a blinding darkness. It was a heavy, sad time. The rat nibbled a hole through the darkness to allow the light to shine in and down on us all. The rat represents the start of a new day, which leads us to the story of the great race. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, there was a great race. And all of the animals of the forest were invited. But they had to cross a mighty river to get to the land on the other side, where the Jade Emperor would be waiting for them at the finish line. Which animal would make it across the finish line first? Well, Rat, wanting to be the first one to the party, woke up the earliest. At the head of the line, there was also a cat on top of an ox. The rat jumped up with the cat and safely nestled behind the ox's horn, knowing that the ox could carry them safely across. The rat really wanted to be first, so he jilted ahead, knocking the cat off and into the water. The cat swam to a nearby log and was late to the party. Still to this day, they're enemies. So the rat came across first, and the ox lumbered slowly ahead into second place, followed soon by the tiger. Next, the rabbit swam as hard as it could, its heartbeat speeding rapidly, each little paw treading water as fast as it could. The rabbit worked so hard and became exhausted, its fur wet and heavy. Then all of a sudden, a log floated by. The rabbit climbed on the log and slowly floated into fourth place. Once the rabbit reached the land, it continued to hop past the emperor and kept hopping through the forest. Then out of the sky came a magical sight, the dragon. The Jade Emperor stood surprised, contemplating why this powerful dragon had not come in first place, but rather fifth. The dragon shared that as he was flying to the party, he saw a village below, and in that village he saw a farmer's crops that were on fire. The dragon thought that he could help. With his breath, he blew out the fire like candles on a birthday cake. The villagers were very, very thankful. Then he saw a rabbit that was struggling to swim in the river. Again with his dragon's breath, he blew a log towards the bunny, and the bunny floated safely across to the finish line. The horse was the next animal in line. The horse swam mightily across, until all of a sudden a snake leapt out, startling the horse, sending it back further in line. <laughs> the clever snake was awarded the sixth place in the zodiac. Meanwhile, the horse was awarded the seventh place. Behind the horse, three animals drifted on a raft. In this story, a monkey, a rooster, and a sheep. Sometimes it's a goat. They work together as a team, each paddling with sticks and leaves. If an oar became stuck in the seaweed, the rooster would peck it off or the monkey would untangle it with its tail and the sheep would offer snuggles. When the animal's raft reached the other side, they decided amongst them that the sheep would be awarded eighth place because it had been so comforting to the rooster and the monkey, and the monkey would be the ninth place animal to cross, and then the rooster claimed the tenth spot on the zodiac.
next in line, there was a doggy doing the doggy paddle all the way across to the party. Panting, he finally reached the finish line and became the 11th sign of the zodiac. The Jade Emperor wondered, was this all of the animals? There was one spot left. Then all of a sudden over the horizon, a faint little oink was getting louder and a pink little piggy made his way across. The Jade Emperor wondered, why was the pig so far behind? The pig apologized saying that he stopped to eat some food and he ate so much and he took a nap. He had fallen asleep, but now he was here and awarded the 12th spot on the Zodiac.